Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. Welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories, translated into English every weeknight. Today, the Central Election Commission approved the funds that will be distributed to the political parties that are registered as electoral subjects for the June 25th elections. 65 million lek will be given from the state budget. 49 million lek will be given to the Social Socialist and Democratic parties. The Socialist Party will receive 28 million lek as it was ranked the first party with the most votes received in 2013 elections, with 713,000 votes. The Democratic Party will receive 20.1 million lek as it was ranked the second in the 2013 elections with 528,000 votes. Socialist Movement for Integration, which was ranked the third in 2013 elections, with 180,000 votes, will receive 7 million lek from the state budget for the parliamentary elections. The Republican Party will receive 2 million lek. The Party for Justice, Integrity, and Unity will receive 1.7 million. And the New Democratic Spirit will receive 1.1 million lek. The Social Democratic Party and the Party for Social Democracy will receive 400,000 lek each. Meanwhile, the 10 other parties registered for the June 25th parliamentary elections will receive 325,000 lek apiece. The Democratic Party opened its electoral campaign in the city of Saranda today. The Democratic Party chairman, Luzim Basha, declared that the theater and mocking of citizens will come to an end with the arrival of the new republic. The opposition's leader also responded to the rumors for a possible coalition with the Socialist Party, declaring that he will not turn the citizens' trust into bargains, and added that this should also be clear to the Socialist Movement for Integration, declaring, The New Republic will triumph on June 25th. We will not make bargains with the citizens' cause. The SMI should also bear this in mind. Eddie Rama will give account for his failure. We are united. The whole opposition is united, and they are divided. We know where we are going. June 25th is the day we can remove all of them at once. Mr. Basha also said that with a new constitutional reform, the citizens can dismiss the members of parliament who do not respond to the citizens. The New Republic is the place where the citizens will have the politicians in their hands and not the other way around. This will start with the constitutional reform, which is part of the political agreement that paved the way to the opposition's participation in elections. With the constitutional reform, I promise you that the MPs will no longer be selected by the chairman of the parties, but by the citizens. In the future parliament, you will have the opportunity to dismiss those MPs who do not respond to you or who go after their own interest and not the people's, the DP chairman said. The DP chairman added that the Democratic Party has prepared an economic program together with the best European experts. The Democratic Party chairman promised a stronger economy, tax cuts, and investments. He pledged to be the Prime Minister of the citizens and of the economy. Prime Minister Edi Rama was in Lege today, where he called on the Socialists and the Democrats for the vote for the Socialist Party in order to continue with the state-building reforms. In his statement, the Prime Minister had this to say. We have given proof that we know how to build the state. You should choose between moving forward or backwards. This is the selection you should make, and we should be united in this. The Socialists and Democrats who do not have an open interest in power should be united. The Prime Minister added that the citizens should vote for the Socialist Party so that it can run the country alone. The Prime Minister told Leja's citizens that the country has tried being ruled by all the parties and that voting for the Democratic Party, according to the Prime Minister, is a return to destruction, declaring, The Democratic Party sent the country to destruction in 1997, plunging the country into debts in 2013, and close to energetic collapse in 2013. We may, we may have not made things yet, but we have proven that we know how to build a state. The former chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration, Ilir Mehta, held a meeting to get today with the residents of Kamza, where he declared that many young people are joining the SMI every day. According to Mr. Mehta, the SMI offers trust to the youth, saying, the Socialist Movement for Integration's message is for cooperation, harmony, and inclusiveness. Many young Albanian people find themselves at the SMI because the youth is united by the impatience for a better future so that they can have a higher quality of education and a suitable vocational education in order to have the opportunity for well-paid jobs so that they can afford the cost of living. 
Meanwhile, the first SMI's candidate in Tehran, Plata Josha, and the Socialist Movement for Integration's vice chairman, expressed their conviction that the SMI will emerge the first political party in the elections. They emphasized that the points included in the SMI's program are promised that will be made a, a reality, putting their emphasis on the well-paid jobs. The agreement reached between the Prime Minister and the DP Chairman on May 17th has not yet concluded, even though the electoral campaign has officially started for more than a week. The Prime Minister and the DP Chairman agreed for the appointment of the Provisional Ministers, but they are not agreeing on the appointment of some directors of the most important institutions. The Prime Minister has only accepted, only accepted the appointment of one director out of the five offered in the agreement. The Prime Minister has not accepted the proposals for the four other directors of the Democratic Party. Only the director of the Legalization Agency has been appointed, and the operator for Power di Distribution, Mortgages Directory, Prisons Directory, General Directory of the Agency of Rural and Agricultural Development continue to be without a director. Sources told Aura News that the parties continue to negotiate in order to find the provisional directors that will head these institutions until after the June 25th elections and that their appointment is expected to be made within this week. The provisional minister of finance has asked the prosecution to start a legal proceeding for an inspector of tax in investigation, accusing him of participating in the electoral campaign. In a statement issued to the media, the Minister of Finance has ordered the immediate dismissal of the inspector. The ministry also calls on citizens to send photos or footage if they see employees of public administrations participating in electoral campaigns. The Ministry of Education is verifying whether employees of the ministry are included in the electoral campaign. The Ministry of Education has denounced the director of Librage's education office, an employee of Colonia's education office, the director of Tepelena's education office, and the director of Kuchova's education office. Or news sources within the Ministry of Education said that these employees have violated the order given by the former Minister of Education not to participate in electoral campaigns. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister, speaking from Leja today, clarified that any employees of the public administration who participate in electoral campaign will be penalized, but he added that the employees are free to do whatever they want after the working hour. Today, after two hearings with the candidates for vetting bodies, the Ad Hoc Commission on Vetting approved 68 candidates who will be approved by two other Ad Hoc Commissions in order to be part of vetting bodies. The list with 68 candidates was among debates between the opposition and the majority members. The opposition has objected the evaluation of candidates made by the International Monitoring Operation, accusing it of using double standards. Even though the Socialist Party and the Democratic Party have reached an agreement, the parties still continue to have disagreements about vetting. After a three-hour meeting of the Commission, the opposition members accused the People's Advocate and the Inter International Monitoring Operation of using double standards as for the same problem of the interest conflict. Some candidates were added to the A list and some to the B list. The Democratic MPs, Lemur Noka, also spoke against the level of candidates. The Democratic Party accuses the Prime Minister of making efforts to control the justice system. Meanwhile, the Socialist Movement for Integration holds a neutral position between the parties. The SMI MP Luan Rama supported the opposition's stance in principle about the shortcomings in the law and the double standards used for the selection of candidates, but the SMI MP also supported the list the majority candidates approved. The majority's representative at the Ad Hoc Commission, Mr. Ulcimania, said that everything has been made according to the law and that one candidate who was part of the B-list passed to the A-list after the proposal of the members of the commission. This applicant, this applicant was Susan Schutz. Now, the list of candidates for the vetting body is made up of 68 candidates. The two other ad hoc commissions will select only 27 of them who will be part of the vetting commissions. Two American minors who live in Tehran have lost contact with their family since yesterday around 3 p.m. The Bailey K family is asking for the help of the state police and of the citizens who have seen the brothers to immediately contact the family. In order to help you verify the two brothers, the family has given these details. Tavish Tuk Bailey K is 14 years old, around 150 centimeters tall, black hair, brown eyes, with short haircut exactly like in the photo, was last seen wearing gray blue shirt and jeans with gray hiking shoes. 
Tig Magnus Bailey K, 17 years old, about 180 centimeters tall, with no hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing jeans and a turquoise v-neck t-shirt. The family says the brothers left their house, which is located in the American Village area, and the family has no information as to their whereabouts. According to some citizens reporting, both brothers were last seen at Godredielit area near the Lake Park. The, the K family says that both of them are mentally ill, but they are not dangerous. If you have any information, please contact the phone number 069-921-0051 or the email address info at thebohemianhabitat.com. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Cosmo K, and on behalf of War News, thank you and good night.